Here at Mormo International, we love our fans. They are the most intelligent, passionate, and fiercely independent individuals on this planet. That's why we strive to bring them the very best of underground entertainment in movies, music, magic, and zines. We realize that concepts like making a profit and breaking even are old fashioned. That's why you will receive our products for little to no charge. So join Mormo on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and always remember... Ours the magic, ours the power. Hello friend, Mormo here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to become a punk rock expert, an expert in the field of punk rock. And there's three steps to becoming recognized as a punk rock expert. And it's possible to be perceived as an expert, even if you're not. <clears throat> but you can do be both. You can be an expert in your market and also be perceived as an expert. And there's more information on this topic. You want to present it in a way that people utilize the knowledge more than anyone else. So people come to you for punk rock information and um, you want to become an expert in your local punk scene. So whatever city you're in or whatever the closest city is, is which is like my situation right now whatever major city you're closest to, you can become an expert on the topic of punk rock and punk rock history in that city. And also, um, if you're a musician, you can write songs about the history of your local punk rock area because, you know, it all started in the 70s and there's been bands throughout time and these stories should be told you know so you want to be able to tell these stories and you can do it through songs you could do it through interviews you can do it through articles and you can become an an expert in your areas punk rock history and there's three steps to becoming an expert number one is you must have the knowledge you must know about the history of your area. You have to have the knowledge and you can continue to add to your knowledge. So the more you learn, you can continue to put um, content out there and, uh, and learn more and more and just continue to put more and more products out there about uh, the, the history number two you want to be prolific and you can do this by writing more and by producing more products and number three you want to appear and act as an expert have the expertise and position yourself as an expert and so so you want to be where nobody but you is doing exactly what you're doing as far as interviews and the content you release be it videos or CDs uh, you want to be a punk rock storyteller and you're telling the story of punk rock and the history of punk rock in your area your city or your county you want to be telling the story of your punk rock in your area and punk rockers respect their elders they respect the people who came before them the people who were up there on stage performing punk rock everybody respects that and you'll find that a lot of uh, musicians will have their like vintage guitars uh, late 70s uh, early 80s uh, everybody everybody wants to recapture that classic
punk rock era and you want to look for recordings from the past for your area for your city you want to research and find those punk rock tunes from your era from the 2000s the 90s the 80s the 70s you want to go back and research all of that listen to all of those recordings <coughs> <clears throat> and uh, and uh, study them as much as you can and you can learn knowledge from these old recordings that you can apply to the new punk scene and teach the new punk rockers and what you want to do is identify the top 10 punk rock experts in your area and so study the history of your um, your scene and seek out the top 10 people who got the best stories and are the most knowledgeable about the scene in these different areas if you inter if you interview the top 10 people in your local punk rock scene you'll have more knowledge than anyone else you'll have more punk rock knowledge than anybody else and with these experts if the knowledge stays in their mind uh, they'll never be known as experts unless you pick their brain and uh, get all those stories and tell those stories to the new people coming in they'll never be considered as experts they could be lost in history and just on like never documented uh, punk rock history and that would be totally tragic so you want to get that history and pass it on to the next generation and you want to find all the recordings from these top 10 people and study them and learn all you can from them um, And when you're studying these top 10 recordings, you can find what you don't like about them, find the weaknesses of their recordings, and then correct them in your recordings. And, uh, and then, so, yeah. So teach everything as a total package and be the ultimate expert. You take the knowledge from your top 10 experts and teach it as a full package and then that makes you the expert don't just listen to a single expert and copy what they were doing you want to learn all the knowledge from all of the top 10 experts and then come up with a new angle on what they were doing a new angle and a new application and that will be uh, your success and your expert position and so the number two thing is being prolific uh, you can do it without being prolific but it really helps and you should be prolific in your in your market so you want to release a lot of products a lot of recordings a lot of songs a lot of videos the more uh, content you can put out there the more prolific you are and this will help you be an expert and one way to be an expert is to write multiple articles and post them all over the internet so you can look on Google for the top 10 uh, punk rock websites and post your articles on all of those um, being prolific will help you be an expert so like you can write articles about bands that came before in history and interviews with people who were there at the um, old school punk rock and then and then post them as many places as you can all over the internet um, if you're published on 10 different websites you will appear as more of an expert so rather than just concentrating on one website you want to appear on multiple different websites um, 
up to 10 or even more but just um, publish your content everywhere you can uh, these interviews or these recordings or these videos put them all over the internet you can put them on YouTube you can put them on your blog you can put them on article directories but just um, get them as many places as possible so that you're prolific to appear as an expert in punk rock <coughs> and when people search on Google for your area like they'll search your area your city slash punk rock at Google you want to appear in more than one of the top 10 results of your area it's your area your city plus punk rock people search that they're gonna get top 10 results you want to be in more than one of those areas and one way to, that's good to be prolific is to write a PDF like an ebook and you want to make it at least 10 pages long and you can post it on your website you can post it on Facebook groups you can post it on SlideShare and just go all over the internet and post your PDF file which is like a small ebook and publish it everywhere you can all over the internet and of course you want to do recordings recordings are the easiest way to make a product you can interview an expert you can have somebody interview you because you're an expert and or you can create an outline of what you want to talk about and then create a, a recording based on that and just think if you can do 10 hours a piece of recording so you do 10 recordings and each one is an hour a piece that will make you a total expert in your genre and your genre being your community your state your city as far as the punk rock scene because there's a rich history there and everybody is eager to find out about the history so the more interviews you can do uh, the more um, you can spread these old songs and recordings from the bands that became that came before you the better it is and the more of an expert you will appear and so number three is you want to appear as an expert people will believe you're an expert when you teach them something they don't know so if you can tell them something a story or some bit of history about the punk rock scene the local punk rock scene you'll appear as an expert and you want this to come from a place where you know what you're talking about so you've heard it firsthand from people who were there on the scene and you know it's legit and you know what you're talking about and when you present brand new information they'll see you as an expert when you tell them the stories firsthand that you've heard them right from the source people will see you as an expert in in your local punk rock scene and when you talk about other punk experts uh, people will refer to them as fellow experts so when you get these interviews and you learn this information you should uh, refer to them as fellow experts like say I heard this from a fellow expert in the punk rock community and and by associating with fellow experts and people from the history of fellow of the punk rock scene that makes you appear as more of an expert and if you're a punk rock expert and you don't wear punk rock clothes or accessories people might think you're not a punk rock expert so you might want to consider wearing a um, small button or a hat or a patch or something that uh, represents that you're an expert in the community so that people perceive you as an expert and when you when you write if you sound timid or shy 
you might not be considered an expert so you want to be confident and uh, be full of pride and comf confident when you write and then when you're writing and you're creating content be real careful of using the word free you don't want to, if you use the word free over and over again it detracts from your image as an expert because images don't just give out everything for free like experts don't just give away everything for free so you want to be real careful and um, you can give things away for free like recordings or interviews or your writing but just don't refer to it as free and you you want to interview people and also have people interview you as an expert if people interview you and find the interviews it'll make you more perceived as an expert and when you do interviews with experts you want to distribute them everywhere online put the recording online and distribute it as far and wide as possible you can also put the interviews on CDs and do really cheap bootlegs CDs and sell these to people so they can learn about the history of the local area and you can tell these classic stories and basically you're propping up punk rock it's like talking about what an epic thing it is and how important it is to know the history and so when you're approaching these people these experts in your punk scene they want to be interviewed because when they're when they're interviewed they get exposure if nobody interviews them the history is lost and forgotten but when somebody interviews them and then promotes the interviews um, they become part of history and they get that exposure and that's what they're definitely looking for and so yeah definitely what you can do is make cheap CDs so you make record like interviews of your uh, you make recordings of your interviews with these experts and um, you can just burn cheap CDs like you can just buy a 50 pack of CDs and then burn out the recordings and then it's real easy you can um, fold them up in a piece of paper you can just photocopy a piece of paper like make some art like make a flyer and then photocopy it and then you can fold up the CD just search on YouTube like how to do a CD cover with a piece of paper and like just for a couple cents you can produce these um, CDs that you can go on to sell and uh, you're making money but you're also helping out the scene by um, by passing on these stories from people in history and you really want to pick interview pick experts brains when you interview them get everything you can all the information you can from these people you interview and now I want to tell you a few more thoughts a few extra thoughts um, just one more piece of information and these are the four pillars of what you can do and number one is traffic generation and getting as many people as possible to view your information your recordings your videos your articles you want to get as many people as possible to check these out and you can use article marketing and uh, to get this information out as far as wide as you can so this will make you more of an expert number two you want to build a list of loyal followers who are real people and people you can reach out to and you can build the list several ways you can collect their emails and then email them when you got new information um, you can put them on a Facebook group or a Facebook um, fan page or any way that you can reach out to people and let them know that there's new information that you have 
And number three, you want to build trusted rep relationships with these followers. Um, you want them to trust you and believe in you, that you always have the new information and the good information. You want them to trust you, that they're always going to have something good for you. And number two, you and number four, you want to create a lot of products. The more products you have, the better. So these are like CDs, um, online audio files, videos, books, ebooks, PDFs. The more stuff you can put out there, the more of an expert you're going to be. And you want to, the more knowledge you gain knowledge, and then you share knowledge. And the easiest way to do this is recordings, whether it's audios or videos. You're just wanting to get more and more knowledge and then share more and more knowledge with more and more people. The more people you can share with, the better. So here's a quick review of the three steps to being a punk rock expert. First, get the knowledge. Gain as much knowledge as possible about your area, about your scene, about the scene in general. You can find out about all the bands that performed in your area and then go even further than that and, and gain more information about the famous bands and the national bands and everything. Number two is be prolific. Release a lot of products like recordings, videos, PDFs, ebooks, articles. The more information you can put out there, the more of an expert you're going to be. And number three is act like an expert. Um, be confident. Um, dress like an expert when you get photographs. Look like an expert in your scene. So you want to wear punk clothes, punk accessories, bracelets, buttons, hats t-shirts have ripped jeans or whatever you want to look like a like a pr expert and act like an expert and so people decide if you're an expert or not in their gut they'll look at you they'll analyze all the information and they'll decide in their gut if you look and sound and act like an expert people will think of you as an expert and if people believe you're an expert they'll defend you if people talk tr trash about you these people who are already consider you an expert because of all the great information you've shared they'll defend you and they'll have your back and people will uh, defend you and say this guy is an expert he knows what he's talking about and if once they believe in you, it won't change. They'll always believe in you. And so here's just a quick final thought. Now it's time for you to become a punk rock expert, act like a punk expert, and be treated like a punk expert. Thanks. Real quick, I want to talk about myself a little bit. i just been partying. I've been drinking. Ooh la la wine. <laughs> All right, thanks. Hello, friend Mormo here. I'm a uh, number one best selling author on Amazon in the punk genre. I'm a uh, show promoter, zine publisher public access TV show owner, music video maker, feature length DVD maker. I've been around, I've been doing punk rock work for 10 years and I consider myself an authority and today we're going to talk about how to get people to your shows using online marketing and uh, what we want to do what we're doing is basically providing solutions to people who uh, are looking for answers to their problems. And so what exactly does a punk band or a punk show, what kind of solution are they offering? And some of the problems that, they, that punk bands and 
punk shows and the punk scene in general. Some of the solutions to problems they can offer are to people who need excitement, people who think their lives are boring or uh, and uneventful and they're just bored with their life. A punk show can provide that excitement. It's the most exciting thing I've ever experienced in life, the, the uh, live punk show. So there's that, there's the need of community, people who need to feel a part of a community can find that in the punk scene when they can go to shows and make friends and have a lot of friends it's really important um, the punk scene can be a support system so when you're struggling in life or having issues you can go to a punk show and talk to your friends and be a part of a bigger community um, the punk scene was my support system and uh, and that's a really important service that punk bands and the punk scene can offer a solution to a problem of course friends having lots of friends you can make lots of friends in the punk scene if you don't have friends fame you can be famous you can become a famous person everybody wants to be famous fame and fortune is what it's all about you know um, having famous friends in the punk scene you can have rock stars as friends you can get invited to their personal sh shows and even crash out on their couch and drink beer or whatever you it's a cool way to be friends with famous people you know rock stars really cool another solution of solving somebody's problem is an artistic outlet a lot of people don't feel good unless they're creating art and so um, there's plenty of opportunities for that in the punk rock scene anybody can be a rock star pick up a guitar and bam you can be up on stage performing uh, you can make flyers you can um, create album art or uh, make music videos there's just a million opportunities in the punk rock community and uh, I feel that uh, fan art should always be encouraged in the punk rock community encourage people to do whatever they can even if there's several flyers for the same show uh, people should always feel welcome to cre do their artistic outlook in any way they can to help support the scene and then uh, to let off steam you had a hard week you go to a punk show get rowdy talk some shit push somebody in the zine throw it in the mosh pit throw an elbow or whatever it's a good way to let off steam if you're stressed out go to a punk show and fucking let go you know and there's also dancing people want an opportunity to dance you can go to a punk show and dance and have fun and uh, some people just want an awesome date you know they want to have a date night and uh, the punk scene is perfect for that just go catch an awesome show have yourself a good time and so there's a lot of different solutions to people's problems that at a punk show you can solve people's problems by inviting them to a punk show and people will go online looking for the answer to their problems and the answer to their problems is the local punk scene and the local punk concert and so what you want to ask yourself is where do all these people go online when they're looking for solutions to their problems and they want to solve their problems and um, you want to go to some place where you know people are looking for you because some places you can get lots of views but that doesn't mean they're going to come to your show and support your band and support the scene. 
but you want to be places online where people are looking exactly to solve these problems and find the solutions that you can offer as a band and as a scene and you want to target people who can benefit from your shows there's lots of people out there and um, the punk scene can mean a lot of things so you want to find people that um, you could that uh, you can the punk scene can solve their problems and you want to figure out your demographic the people who need what you have to offer and can provide you want to find the people who are searching for a solution they're looking for something to do something fun some somewhere to go out so you find out where people who need what you have to offer hang out online already and you go where these people are already hanging out and looking and so you can think about it like let's say you're a farmer who's selling tomatoes right so there's two things you can do you can like build a store a big like tomato store tomato warehouse or something and you can set up shop and do all this or you can or maybe there's a local farmers market in town where people are selling like broccoli and celery and cabbage and stuff and you could just set up a booth there where people are already shopping and already looking for what you have to sell and you can just um, sell your uh, tomatoes there or you could also go to where people are already looking for your product your tomatoes and put up a billboard or like a flyer and uh, and if you figure out where people go when they're looking for what you have to offer you can reach 50 percent of the people who are trying to find your show you just go where people congregate to find out about these things advertise and bam you already got 50 percent of the people who are looking for what you have to offer and so it's like if you were gonna dig a well like you wouldn't just randomly pick some place to go you would um, consult experts and do surveys and uh, and you'd find out where the best place to drill for water is you would um, you'd you'd make an educated decision on where you want to drill so you want to think about where um, the people your people who need what you have to offer where do they, where are they going already and then you put your advertisement there be it a flyer uh, you can um, staple hammer a flyer to a telephone pole or you can tape a flyer to a uh, street light or right or put it in the window right where people are already going or you can hand out like quarter page flyers and uh, and just go to where people who are searching for what you have to offer are already going you advertise there and so and then another place and then of course there's online and what you want to look for is the top 15 places people go when they're looking for what you have to do so online where the top 15 places that people go when online when they're looking for something fun to do um, all of those solutions we talked about already where do they go online and so one way to do this is to like google search your town and look for top blogs top forums top websites uh, search your town and then look at the results and you'll find the top 15 places people go and this can be like the newspapers website um, uh, local forums different blogs just find the top 15 search results for your area or your town 
and uh, you want to look for people who have content about your city and that rank good on Google and of course there's always flyers and when you put out a flyer you want to make a place for to capture the lead and the lead is the contact information so if you can put on your flyer like a Facebook group or a place where they can enter their email but something where uh, you'll capture that lead so that you can contact people over and over again and put that right on your flyer and all of your advertising and um, another way is to find forums in your uh, your niche whatever your niche is if you're punk rock or hardcore or hard rock or classic rock or your cover band look for places online where you can spread your message the top 15 places and that can be forums where do people go you talk you go there and you talk to people you ask questions about what they're looking for this is a way to gather information even if they're not locally and the odds are they won't come out to see your show you can find out information about these people like um, what are they looking for um, where do they already go to find um, uh, places to go and do what they need to do it's their needs you're again you're trying to find out where they go to find the solution to their problem because um, punk rock offers a lot of solutions to everybody's problem and you can find out what people are looking for and what they're into on forums and then apply that to your local marketing so you want to make a list of your um, top 15 to 20 websites online and uh, that cater that where people go to find the answers to their problems that you have the solutions to and ask yourself at these places how can I get involved like what can I do to get my message out there um, my the bands my band the bands I like like where can I drop names and drop locations and so like one of these places I know is gonna be like a um, like review sites people go online to look for reviews and uh, you can like Yelp and Yahoo and there's all different kinds of review places and so you can go online and uh, and find um, and you can write reviews um, and uh, and say you know oh I saw this great show at this venue and there was this great awesome band and they were so cool and it was a great show and the venue was awesome write a real positive review but if you write reviews and then I'll have all your fans write good reviews where they name drop your band as well as the name of the venue and talk about what a great experience it is and of course then there's blogs local blogs where you can comment you can leave comments and uh, helpful comments and drop the name of your blog and um, and so when you're searching for on your top 15 websites you gotta ask yourself do you want to be a part of this community and if so you want to start communications with the people who run the community the people who are in charge you want to become a valuable member of that community where you're giving out good information and good um, positive <coughs> information and stuff that reflects well on your band and your scene um, you can start doing guest blogging like if you find a local blog about your city and your your area you can um, you start commenting you build a relationship and then you say hey you know I'd love to write a blog post about on your website 
and uh, and when you do guest blogging, when you write a blog post on somebody's blog, you get a resource box which has a call to action and a link to your website. So you write your story or your review or whatever you're going to write and then at the bottom of the blog post you um, explain who you are, the name of your band, the name of your favorite band, the name of your favorite venue and um, you can find out more information by visiting here and put a link to your blog or your Facebook page or your Facebook group or wherever you're collecting your leads and a lead is just like a contact information because you want you want to reach people one time and then be able to contact them over and over again so every time there's a show or something cool to do you can reach out to these people and uh, and let them know about this thing and promote the event it's always cool to be a promoter like being a promoter is the coolest job I've ever had when I was working the door and booking shows at a club hanging flyers making flyers um, promoting is totally punk rock and it's like one of the awesomest jobs out there and so that's kind of the point of this video is how to be a promoter and promote shows so that more people come out and uh, more people the the scene gets bigger that's what you want more people more money bigger shows bigger stakes fame and fortune that's what it is and so of course there's Facebook and social media um, if a blog in your top 15 if a blog is connected to Facebook you want to follow them on Facebook like their page on Facebook and if it's a fan page you can um, click to get notifications every time they pop every time they put out a new message you can get a notification and then you just reply to that new notif that new status update and uh, and say something positive and that's a chance for you to drop your band name or your um, venue or your scene and plug your scene but also be helpful to the blog owner and um, give them props and everything and then um, and when you do blog commenting you want to do great intelligent blog commenting and when you do of course that could lead to guest blogging what we were talking about where you write stories on somebody else's blog you want to genuinely help out these people give them good information and um and ants like help people like people have needs you know what i mean just in their daily life they have needs they need to get out they need to have fun they need to meet people they need to feel a part of something and these are all things you can do so by when you comment on blogs and when you um, leave reviews and all of the marketing you do online you want to be genuinely helpful and seriously help people solve their problems and if you add to the community on these top 15 websites people will want to join you and they'll want to follow you and they'll want to become part of the scene and they'll want to support bands and support um, what everybody's doing and support the scene and so um, you want to write positive reviews for venues when you check out a show and go to a place go online and go to Yelp and all the other places yellow pages wherever where you can write a review write a positive review and talk about how fun it is and how um, what a great place it is uh, to go dancing and see great bands like your favorite band or the band you're in and um, make it positive and so make people want to come out and see and be a part of and so when people see your name so when people are going online and they're looking for answers to their solutions they'll see your name pop up everywhere and they'll think oh this is part of this website like this band is part of this um, this uh, like authority website 
and they'll think they're a part of what they're searching for and that and that will make you look like an expert in um in the solution to their problems and this whole strategy takes time it doesn't it's not going to happen overnight you just work on it you work on it every day or every couple days just continue um, adding information to your top 15 websites for your area dropping names of bands dropping good venues and encouraging people to come out and be a part and find uh, the solution to their problems of uh, fame and uh, and being a part of the community and everything that we've talked about about answers to their problems when you what you write online you want to um, back up and to explain that this is the answer to what you're looking for right now and um, and so once you've done this and you you've spread your name and your scene and upped your scene thirty percent of people searching for uh, your music online will visit one of these websites and so you just once you do the work once constantly everybody who goes online looking for the solution to the problems that you solve 30% of them will see you online and um, if you want to amplify how people see you as an expert here's a strategy you can do um, you're going to already have a fan base, um, you're collecting leads and building, and these are things like your Facebook fan page, an email list of people you send emails to, but you're going to start building a, a large list of people that you can contact regularly every time something happens. And so when you're working on your 15 big websites, for your area you can send people to look so you can send out <coughs> excuse me you can send out a message to your people like go look at this new review I wrote or look at this guest blog post or look at this blog that I commented on and you can send your people to these places where you're spreading your message and this will make you look like more like an expert when you send traffic to these pages and these websites that makes you look like an expert and your fans and followers will also comment and respond and it'll just make you look like much more of an expert and you again you want to go where the traffic is already go where people are looking for your solution already and establish yourself there as an expert and then once you've done that you can scale up and expand into other areas when they come to your website you send them to your other uh, 15 websites and um, you send people to your 15 websites and then those 15 websites will in turn send more people to your shows and your scene and it'll just keep growing getting bigger and bigger uh, you become an authority in your um, your niche and you um, and people will come to you to, to when they're looking for solutions to all their problems that you um, that you have this the, the um, solution to so when they need something to do they need to get out and blow off some steam or go have fun and go dance and go uh, mingle with celebrities and stuff they'll come to you and they'll come to the places of these top 15 websites that you've been working on and seek you out and that's what you want and you want to collect the lead collect their information and continue to spread your message and promote yourself your scene your band your favorite bands you just continue to keep telling people where to go and so this is gonna wrap up this video talking about how to get more people 
to come out and be a part of your scene. Just going to do a quick review. First, you want to find 15 to 20 websites that cover your area if they're blogs, newspapers, review sites, um, forums, um, uh, Facebook groups, Facebook pages. Online, you can find like classifieds for your local area on Facebook, and you can join these. Um, these uh, Facebook groups that are specifically for your group and you can go there and promote your offers and find new people who need what you have to offer you want to have good in interaction and involvement so you find these 15 places and continue to have good uh, interaction good positive feedback and helping build these websites um, you want to dig into these websites so when you visit them these top 15 you figure out how can I make my mark here like what can I say to um, and like what actions can I take to drop the names of the bands and the venues and the shows I'm promoting you want to help out the website by sending people to them and uh, sending your people to check out the website you want to build relationships with the people who own and run your 15 websites be it Facebook groups or forums or whatever you want to build relationships and get in good with these people and then again you want to send people from these websites uh, into your social pages and groups so you collect the lead the contact information and these are really just a few simple steps uh, you can come back in a couple weeks and figure out uh, and and review this information and uh, and look at what you've done and you can go ahead and go on with that so go ahead and get out there and get some heads to your shows again I'm Mormo visit me at www.mormozine.com ours the magic ours the power Hello, now we're going to talk about, I'm Mormo first of all, and to, we're going to talk about creating four products in just one month. And uh, this may sound really hard to do, but I've done it, others have done it, and I'm going to tell you exactly how step by step to create four products in one month. and. When I speak about products, what I'm talking about is songs, articles, interviews, stories, music videos, party videos, spoken word audios, um, ebooks, just anything you can sell and uh, turn a profit on. So, any kind of merch and you can use these products as a physical product selling CDs or you can do a digital product online selling mp4s or streaming mp4s and um, the first thing you want to do is write out an outline um, just take a regular piece of lined paper and write on every other line and that's going to be your first step and this method is simple but it's not necessarily easy it does take some work when you hear it you might think well geez this is uh, too simple but uh, trust me it works you can really do it and if you've never recorded yourself before if you're gonna make um, an audio product it might feel weird or odd at first but just keep going and just push through that don't get stuck on your first recording just keep doing it if you're making videos or audios or whatever don't feel awkward or if you feel awkward just push on and uh, continue on and keep doing it and the first thing you want to do is create a master outline of all your punk knowledge so 
think about everything punk, um, everything that constitutes punk, from the fashion, the music, the history, the bands, um, the the uh, mosh pit, and uh, the record labels, and just everything you have knowledge about, about the scene, the punk scene, the history of punk. Create an outline, just write down everything you know, all of the topics of your punk knowledge, and then break it down, like, write as many as you got, as, like, every different topic in punk you know, write them all down, but eventually you're going to want to concentrate on ten, and then for each of those ten topics, you want to write subtopics on each one of the ten topics, write, like, up to ten or ten subtopics, different categories, different things uh, that you're knowledgeable about and um, for, for an example like anarchy is something that's uh, part of the punk scene and so anarchy would be your main topic and then your subtopics could be the definition of anarchy, the politics of anarchy, the history of anarchy, current events of anarchy, um, anarchist communes, anarchist philosophies. So these are all subtopics that you can um, speak on and or write on from your main topic. And uh, once you have this outline, you can create dozens and dozens of products. So you have your 10 topics, your 10 subtopics. So that would be like a hundred different products you can create of audio or ebook or writing or whatever. So now let's talk about literally creating your product. And you want to choose a topic and just start recording. So start recording um, all of your subtopics and uh, for each topic you have and again if it feels weird don't worry it's good enough what you're doing is good enough you can always give it away for free if you have to um, if you don't feel it's good enough to sell you can just give it away uh, you can use it as what's called the lead magnet so you can say you know if you join my email list or if you join my Facebook group uh, then you can get access to this free material and like I said earlier be careful about using the word free and you can usually throw something in there like well this is kind of outdated material or this just touches on the subject but uh, I, you know I go more in depth later like you can you could even make a product that um, that listed all ten of your main topics and then just say you know I have sub I have products dedicated to each topic and each subtopic and you can find those through me uh, you could create like a PDF, like a one-page PDF listing all of the topics that you're knowledgeable on and just say, uh, for more information, contact me or click this link and you can find the audio or the video or the article or whatever your product is. But you can create a product that's just a, a list of all of your products, basically. And that would be a good one to give away for free so people get an idea of what you have to offer. And uh, don't worry, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's um, people are interested, you know. People want real. People want to buy from somebody real and somebody uh, who has knowledge. And even if you're just a beginner in punk, you, you might know more than um 
than other people who are just starting or at their first show or who've never been to a show before. You're more knowledgeable than them and you can um you can even play the newbie card and just say, Hey, I'm brand new but I've experienced some neat stuff and I'm learning new stuff every day and check out my product about what I know and what I've learned whether it's a CD or an online recording or a DVD or whatever. And uh, when you first start out, do an hour-long recording with nine or ten topics. And so uh, this is just a good way to get going. And once you have an hour's worth of recorded video or recorded audio, bam, you have a product that's ready for market and that you can start selling or start distributing everywhere um, locally you can just distribute your physical products and you can do you can well you can sell physical products through the mail or you can sell digital products which is even easier and uh, I know one website I'm interested in selling through is Tradebit and they do um, they do digital products and you can also set up your products with a commission so that people can sell your products for you and then they get paid and you get paid so that's definitely a cool way to go and then Amazon is a really cool thing and moving forward I'm gonna wanna concentrate on Amazon uh, because I've already received a few royalty checks and they're like the most trusted um, company on the internet basically and I've been paid from them several times so there's another place you can sell ebooks or audio recordings I was looking at CD baby the other day and they charge like 59 bucks but they'll put your audio recordings available for sale everywhere so that's definitely a cool place to check out and then remember anything you record any audio or video recordings you make you can always transcribe and then later turn into an ebook or an article so that's just even more leverage for your content that you can just spread everywhere and uh so definitely get started making your products. You, you, with this knowledge, you should be able to make four products in one month. And thanks.